Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, I've got a, another simple order of operations problem, and I know I've been concentrating on these quite a bit lately, but there is so much confusion out there um, over a simple elementary level school type problem. Um, it seems that whenever we're mixing operations, uh, it confuses a lot of people. Now, I know a lot of people understand this, and I get a lot of comments saying, why are you dealing with... Uh, you know, childish math or elementary school math. Well, it turns out there's a lot of people that have forgotten um, how to do this stuff. And so I'm trying to trying to reinforce the correct method of doing this um, that's been around forever. But for some reason, people have gotten this convoluted. But the problem I'm, I'm looking at today is 4 times 4 plus 4 times 0 equals what? I, I know it looks pretty simple to a lot of people, but if, if you'd like to, you can pause the video. Try to work this one out yourself, and we'll come back and look at it together. All right, for those uh, that are still here um, that haven't put a comment in yet, uh, basically, you got to remember your order of operations convention. It's really simple. Multiplication has precedence over addition. And that's true, whether you've got parentheses or brackets or not. Uh, so you have 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, uh, and then that's plus, and then you've got 4 times 0 that you need to resolve. Well, 4 times 0 is 0. Um, it's the same thing as 0 times 4. Um, you know, you got to understand your community properties and, and so on, but uh, it's the same thing. So you got 16 plus 0 equals 16. A very simple problem. Um, you, all you got to do is follow the order of operations. Like I said, multiplication has precedence over addition. Now, um, you know, please look at the videos. I got, uh, I've got links to the videos in the show notes in the show description here, um, if you don't understand this. Um, but if you do understand that the answer is 16, you can stop the video now. Um, because I see a lot of comments like, why did you make this video 10 minutes? Or why did you make this video, you know, 20 minutes long or 5 minutes long? This should have been 10 seconds long. Well, I get that. And if you want to, you can stop the video now. This warning is for you. All right, it's probably already gone on too long for you up by now anyway. So it's not really meant for you. Um, the rest of the video that I have remaining is for a lot of these people who keep making the same bad arguments over and over and over uh, in every forum that I ever see. Um, and so I mean, I'm going to go on and do that. So you guys, other guys can, can go ahead and stop. Um, there's a multitude of misunderstandings about the order of operations. Um, there's a lot of bad arguments. Um, you know, some of these things are, um, well, for this particular problem, probably the biggest one that I see, well, there's no parentheses or brackets, so the answer is zero. You just solve left to right. Um, and that's, that's a terrible argument. I see this one all the time. People say, well, back in my day, we were taught you had to have parentheses, otherwise you just solve left to right. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. And I think a lot of that comes from people who are memorizing things like PEMDAS or BODMAS, but they're not understanding the background behind any of it. Um, you don't want to just memorize the order of six letters. You want to understand the order of operations. And again, I'm going to say it again. I have links in the notes with, with the videos describing the order of operations in more detail. So I'd like to say before people start making those comments, and they'll, they'll do it anyway, they're going to, somebody's going to make a comment in here, well, there's no parentheses, there's no brackets, so the answer is zero. Um, and again, that's a bad argument. Multiplication already has precedence over addition. Multiplication is nothing more than shorthand for repeated addition. I can take 4 times 4 and replace it with 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. This is the same thing as 4 times 4. And what's 4 times 0? Well, it's adding four zeros, right? Or zero fours, however you want to look at it. But in this case, it's written four times zero, so I'm going to interpret that as, well, four times zero is the same as adding four zeros. Well, I could add a billion zeros. I could add a hundred million zeros, and those all add up to zero. So if I've got four plus four plus four plus four, well, that's already 16. I can keep adding zeros all day. I'm still going to have 16. The correct answer is 16. Um, what I'm seeing a lot of people doing is they're going in here and they're saying, well, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20, uh, and then 20 times 0 is 0, and that's the answer. 
I mean, that's wrong. You're just going left to right, and you're ignoring the fact that multiplication um, is shorthand for repeated addition. Now, you've got, you know, you do have the different acronyms, and in, these are ones that are used in different English-speaking countries. You know, there's different, um, <clears throat> you know, different uh, places, like, you know, in Germany, I think it's Punkt vor Strich, something like that. I don't know if I pronounced it exactly right, but I think it... And it's interpreted, I think, to mean point, uh, point before line, point over line. I, I can't remember exactly. But basically, it's the same thing. You get the same answer. I've seen plenty of people uh, from Germany point out that, you know, format, and they still get the same answer of 16. Uh, PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, BIDMAS, GEMS all give the answer of 16. And I know there's a lot of people out there that will argue that, well, PEMDAS and BODMAS give you different answers when you have division and multiplication because the one has the M before the D and the other has the D before the M. And again, this is the problem with the acronyms. People will memorize the order of six letters and they completely forget the fact that there's only four steps uh, to the order of operations. Um, if you don't have parentheses, if you don't have brackets, uh, if you don't have any exponents, you don't have any orders, you know, you don't have any square roots, you don't have any factorials, um, it doesn't matter. You move on to the next step. If you the next step happen, if you're going left to right, and the next thing you see is multiplication, and you didn't have any parentheses or exponents, whatever, you do the multiplication. If the first thing you encounter is division, you do the division. Why? Because multiplication and division have equal precedence. Um, I'm not going to go into all that detail in this video. I've I've got another video that goes into a lot more detail um, on the order of operations. Um, but yeah, I just want to back up to that again and say, look, you can replace the multiplication with equivalent addition and you get the correct answer of 16. Uh, type it on your cell phone calculator. Um, you're going to get 16 when you type it into your cell phone calculator. Type it into a scientific calculator. And I will also say the other argument, I should have added it in here. People are going to say, well, I typed it into my calculator I just bought at the Dollar Tree yesterday and it tells me the answer is zero. And um, what's happening there, it has to do with the input methods of calculators. Um, you know, a lot of people argue back and forth and saying, well, you just don't, you're not, just don't, uh, you know, you don't know how to enter it in your calculator, which is really, that's actually the truth. People who are getting zero on a calculator are not entering it correctly on the calculator that they have. Every calculator in the world does not have the same input methodology. Uh, there's something that's referred to often as expression mode, which basically it would be this, um, what you see right here, this 4 times 4 plus 4 times 0. Um, if you have a calculator, like a cell phone calculator, any Android, iPhone, whatever, um, <clears throat> or scientific calculator, you can enter this entire expression, 4 times 4 plus 4 times 0, and then hit the equal sign on your calculator, and you'll get the answer of 16. Now, there's other another type of calculator um, that uses what's called immediate execution mode. And basically what it does, and I don't really like this kind of calculator, but it's a kind of a simpler calculator. They don't have an internal stack chain. I know that sounds technical. It has to do with like memory. Um, but these calculators basically solve immediately and solve four times four and basically gives you 16. It, it's assuming that you're just doing one operation uh, at a time. Uh, so it's it's basically the same thing as hitting 4 times 4 and then hitting equals uh, and then getting 16, adding 4, getting 20, uh, and then time multiplying by 0 and getting 0. So when you, if you use calculators like that, um, they're not set up to enter in a multiple operations, an entire expression. Now, they still can be used. Um, what was always done in the past, and a lot of people forget this, is that it was assumed, if you had that type of calculator, it was assumed you already understood the order of operations and you remembered it. A lot of people, unfortunately, don't. Um, you can use, you can use uh, some calculators give you the parentheses that you could add in, or you use memory store and recall functions, or you just understand in your mind that, oh yeah, multiplication has precedence, so I have to do 4 times 4 first. And then I have to do four times zero separately and then add those together on my calculator. You have to do a little extra work with those calculators. And it's all because of the type of calculator. Again, I've, go, I've gone on kind of long on this, but those are the common arguments 
And um, I was just about bet any money I'm going to see some of those in some of the comments. Uh, but unfortunately, what happens a lot of times is people don't watch the video. Uh, they see the problem and they just make a comment. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if that does happen. But um, hopefully everyone else got 16. Um, hopefully the people that understood this right off the bat, maybe they stopped watching long ago. But I, I just want to point this out for the people who are struggling. And I get it. You know, a lot of times uh, people have been out of school for decades. You know, I, I have people that will say, well, I went to school back in the 60s and I think we just did it left to right. Well, I, I can guarantee that there weren't any textbooks written that taught it that way. Um, I, you know, I've got examples of textbooks from the 50s. I have a 1913 textbook, and they all come out and say multiplication and division have precedence over addition and subtraction. So uh, that's not really a good argument to make. It, it, what it really comes down to is that you've forgotten um, really what, what was taught. So this is, this is an old convention. It's been around for a long time. So uh, again, the answer to the problem 16. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned something. Uh, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.